Good morning and welcome back to Unicorn Desk Designs. My name is Sammy and I'm very excited to be here with you on this beautiful Saturday morning. Today we are just going to jump straight into the DIYs and I cannot wait for you to see these. So let's go ahead and get on in. All right, so we're starting out with these two houses. The one on the left is from Dollar General and it was a dollar and then the other one is from the Dollar Tree and we are just going to start taking everything off of these babies. Now the front of the home sweet home wouldn't peel off and then I took my heat gun to the twine on this one came off super easy and then I scraped the glue off because initially I thought I was going to be able to use the front of this and then not have to like paint the back or cover it up. But y'all, this gather thing would not come off. And let me look at, like it's split in half, but wouldn't come off. And I tried heat for so long and no, wouldn't move. So y'all, we are going to paint the front of both of these, the sides of both of these, and then leave the tops of them brown. I am just painting them just to have like a nice base coat for our scrapbooking paper. So we're gonna go ahead and dry that, then paint our other one. Now here we are. Now, you guys, I was inspired by these Hobby Lobby scrapbook pages. So that's what like the all the DIYs in today's video is going are gonna be based off of. So we're gonna trace out our houses for this next house. Do you see how I just kind of like put the corner of the paper in there and then I press on the side so I know where to cut, super easy. And now we are gonna do our Mod Podge. So I'm just putting light coats of Mod Podge on. Make sure you put um, it really good on like your edges and everything. Sorry, my forehead. I still, you know, one day I'll figure out how to get my angle perfect. <laughs> and you're gonna do that for both of the houses. Now I thought about doing the jumbo glue stick, but I wanted to sand the edges and I really didn't know if it would like stay on like I wanted it to. So now taking the sanding block, you can get these at Dollar Tree. We're gonna go in downward motions around the sides and then I also do the top as well just to make it look a little bit more worn and not so brand new. All right, reindeer moss. This is from Dollar Tree. It absolutely stinks, uh, but it's cool. Okay, so you guys, we're gonna apply this to the top of our roofs. Now, make sure when you do this, see how I, I'm kind of like rubbing almost the hot glue in because if you did like thin strands are kind of like the swivel looking marks. That's how your your reindeer moss is going to look. So I try to kind of just rub it in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the front of our roof as well. I'm gonna do the same thing with our second house. Now the second house didn't have a ledge in the front so I just kind of created my own. Just put hot glue in the front right there just made it look a little bit more like our other house. And you could do this with Spanish moss too, um, or mix them together. I like that combo as well. So after we're done with this, we are gonna accessorize. So I am taking a, well one, a clear glass candlestick holder from Dollar Tree, taking this piece of lace that I've had forever, some twine, and then this stuff is like a suede, like rope, it's in the jewelry making section. I got it on clearance at Michael's so long ago. If you know what it's called, let me know. Um, so I'm just going to cut these into thinner strands. Now I was inspired by something I saw on Pinterest and it was like a shabby chic bow that had these super long strands, like tails of the bow. And I was like, oh my gosh, that looks so whimsical and fancy and I was totally vibing it. So now we're just gonna take all of our pieces, tie it around the top of our glass candlestick holder, then taking only one each of our pieces, I'm gonna tie it in a bow, and then we are going to hot glue the smaller house on top of our glass candle holder. And then I just trim it down. I still want them like hanging, like laying on the table wherever I put them. And Next, I decide, you know what? I want something in the middle. So I grab one of these half slice beads, paint it white. I just ordered these. I'll put them in my Amazon store link. And we are done. 
Look it, yes. Look at how gorgeous these look. Look at that scrapbook paper. Thank you, Hobby Lobby. This whimsical, chic bow that's just kind of laying on the table. Oh, absolutely love these. Let me know what you think down below, you guys. All right, that was the first DIY. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you feel inspired by it. I wanted to take a minute to say, Hello to all my new subscribers and of course my OGs. I appreciate y'all so much. Um, my name is Sammy. I'm a mother of two. I am a wife. I'm a DIYer and I absolutely love this unicorn community that we have created. So a big welcome to you if you are joining us for the first time or if you are just newer to the channel. Um, if you guys are digging me, if you're digging the channel, if you're digging the DIYs, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe so you can always see my videos. I post on Tuesdays, Thursdays I post Dollar Tree hauls, and then Saturdays I post DIYs again. And if you are also new, check down in the description box. I post timestamps, all the supplies needed for each of the DIYs. I have my Amazon store link down below as well, along with, did I already say it? My Instagram, Facebook page, and all of that good stuff, as well as my other channel. So you guys, with that said, let's go ahead and let's get into the last three DIYs. All right, our next one. So these come out very often and I've never tried taking the metal off of them. So I was like, let's see if we could get this up. So you just have to get something, like this is like some kind of spatula for my Cricut and I just need to get it under the pins, they're push pins. And if you could get it under that pin and kind of maneuver it, it will come up and it didn't bend too much. And then if you haven't used these before, the wordings, the wordings, the text comes right off with alcohol. Um, oh my gosh, nail polish remover. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so we clean that up. And then I'm taking a different print of the scrapbook paper I found. I'm going to cut that out and we are also going to Mod Podge. If you guys don't like Mod Podge, these probably aren't your DIYs because everything's going to be Mod Podge today. Uh, so I'm applying the Mod Podge. Always I say it, but like make sure to get the corners and stuff, especially if you're going to be sanding them down. I'm going to smooth this out. Um, I also wanted to say thank you to Plaid because they did send me a bunch of Mod Podge and other um, fun paint colors. So I will have to try those out soon. I mean, obviously I already know Mod Podge, but all right. So I just took my super glue from Dollar Tree, our hot glue. We're gonna stick that right back on. Now these signs already have burlap in the background, so it was absolute perfection. All right, now taking more of those wood bead slices, I am going to paint those white as well, and then we are going to attach those to the corner of our sign. But I'm gonna put it on like the, the scrapbook part. You know, yeah, you're picking up what I'm putting down, okay. So now we need to make it all fancy, which I'm sorry, this is definitely not in frame, but I have a piece of the lace hanging on the sign. Then I create a basic bow. I'm going to tie the two pieces together and then I am going to attach it to the top of our little sign here. But first I cut the the lace into strands. Whoo, y'all, I'm like all caught up on my words. Okay, and now we're gonna attach it to the top here just with some hot glue. Come on, girl, you got this, you got this. No, you don't got this. You're not even in frame. You're a hot mess. That's what's going on here. All right, don't worry, I get it together. I think I probably don't, who knows. Okay, so then I'm gonna grab this clothespin. I've had these for a long time and I was like, oh my gosh, the bird clothespin would look absolutely gorgeous on this. Imagine all of these two for like Mother's Day presents, like especially this one, you could clip a picture on there of like a baby or your mom or whatever and it would be gorgeous. And this is how it turned out. All of these, you guys, are simply like just chic, like super simple. Anybody can do these DIYs and they're going to turn out absolutely beautiful no matter what scrapbook paper or paint that you use with them or lace for that matter. All right, you guys. So I haven't done a book stack since Valentine's Day. And for those of you that don't know, 
I collect vintage books. If it's old, if it has handwriting in it, if it smells, if it, uh, I mean, anything and everything. I think I got these at a garage sale, but these have like hand, oh, I love them. And y'all know if you've watched my channel, I do not hurt books at all. I will not hurt books. So we are not gonna hurt these, but we are gonna decorate them. So I am taking shipping paper here from Dollar Tree and we are going to go ahead and cover our books up. Now, I do have other ways of doing the covers. Um, I've done them a couple ways. So I'm gonna attach those videos for you down in the description box so you can see other ways that you can do this, especially if you're getting your books from Dollar Tree and they already have covers on them. So I am just sizing this up. I didn't do it the smart way on this book, but I'll show you later. So we're gonna cover this one up and then I am going to take our next book. Now for the next book, I am just, come on girl, are you done yet? Okay, so uh, now we're gonna get that scrapbook paper. We're just gonna do one book at a time, tearing all of the edges off of here just to make it look a little bit more worn. And we're gonna alternate like our scrapbook paper and stuff. Or you can make them all the same scrapbook paper or tissue paper, that's up to you. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and fold this. I'm just getting hot glue. As you can see, I'm not damaging my book. It's not touching the book. So I love that you can use these and not have to paint or anything. All right, so then I'm gonna take the half bead pieces again. As you can see, I think you all know if you watch my DIY channels, everything ties in to each other when I do my DIYs. Like it it makes a, a story, I guess you could say. I don't know, do I know what I'm talking about? No, okay. So for this one, we're just covering the, um, the book up. I really love how antique these pages of the books look. And don't forget y'all, when you do book displays and stuff, if you've ever visited, okay, wait, real quick. So this one, I'm using the side of the shipment paper to help guide me for my straight lines. Then as you can see, I'm pressing into the sides and that's where I'll cut. But visit me on Instagram because you'll see how I like do displays with a bunch of my vintage books. And having the pages face out is absolutely stunning. Okay, so for um, this one, we are going to cut it longer. And then we are also going to tear the sides. And then we're going to tear the tops of this as well. So then we're going to do the same method. We are going to hot glue these. There we go. You can also use Mod Podge and stuff like that, but mm, no, I don't know. I don't know how Mod Podge would work because this is kind of like thicker paper. Okay, so after we're done with that, I'm gonna get our lace that we've been using. I'm gonna cut a little piece off, apply some hot glue there, and you'll see I just kind of tap it down. I'm not pressing, it doesn't get messy. Then yeah, we're gonna save that. You never know when you could use that extra flour. All right, and this one is done. So. Now that we're done with those, we want to tie our books together. So I'm gonna grab that same lace, the same suede, whatever this is called, and we are going to tie our books up in a basic bow, but we are going to leave the lace and the suede in longer pieces so it drapes over our book and looks beautiful. And y'all, that is it for this DIY. It was super quick, very, very simple and let your imagination go wild with these. I mean, you can really make these stackable books with any kind of print, whether you're doing lemon or maybe it's for you know red, white, and blue or whatever it may be. The options are really endless with these, so have fun with it. Make sure you tag me if you make some. I would love to see them. Okay, you guys, this one. Okay, you guys said, please do some DIYs with this picture. Well, I was super excited because I was like, oh, I'm so smart. Look, I, I got my razor blade and I was able to take them off. And then so many people, when you guys saw my haul, I'll post that up in the cards and in the description box as well. Um, I was like peeling it off and everybody's like, then I started seeing comments like, oh, you could just take that off with nail polish remover. Somebody also said you can put it in the dishwasher and because of the heat, it comes right off. So uh, I don't think this is the easiest way to do it, but I did it this way. Then took nail polish remover, cleaned up the excess. Okay, all right, so 
do as I say, not as I do. Now, I got this Pioneer Woman um, napkin from Walmart on clearance last summer. And you were gonna decoupage basically. So I'm gonna cut these out. Now when you're doing decoupage, cut all the excess off. Anything you don't want showing, get rid of it. And the closer you can get to the image, the better off you're going to be. So get some really pointy detail scissors, take it all off. If you guys have ever seen my DIY um, Dollar Tree calendar videos, you will see I have, what? Oh gosh, it's crazy. Okay, so anyways, we're gonna size that up, then get some Mod Podge, and we are gonna put this on little by little. So as you can see, I didn't coat the entire picture right away. I'm gonna put a little bit on, I'm gonna pat my image down, and as I always say, I don't mind wrinkles. I mean, it, it's not gonna be, per it's not gonna be perfect. And do not smooth your fingers over this or you are gonna rip it. You can see I'm using my brush. If I need to smooth something down, I use my brush. Otherwise, I am just patting the napkin on there. You can see me patting so that I don't rip. Now, as I went to the back, I was like, oh gosh, that jagged line. So I added more. I wish now seeing it from this angle, I would have just stopped here because I think that looks really good just like that. But I added another flower. So here we go. I mean, it still looks good, but I think it looked great with just that other addition. So that is all. You're going to let this dry and it turns out absolutely beautiful. It almost looks like it's like watered colored. I don't know. And look at how that looks on our stack of books. How adorable is that picture? It would look beautiful in a tiered tray. I love the way that this came out and you can use it with tissue paper, thin wrapping paper, so many options. Okay, so this one, 110% was inspired by Liz from the official craft nerd. She made the most gorgeous, shabby chic, drawers out of like the little small boxes from Dollar Tree. I'm going to link her video down below. Please go check it out. Um, so I am going to do crates and I am attaching two crates together. I'm just going to grab some white chalk paint and we are going to paint all of the sides and the back and the top. Um, and then we are going to grab this wood piece. This is actually like the wood planks from Dollar Tree. Um, another scrapbook piece of paper that I already pre-cut. I'm gonna smooth that out. And then we're also going to sand the sides like we did for our previous um, DIYs here. Also sand on top. Now I'm going to attach it to my front. So you don't have to paint the front of your um, crates. And then make sure you have your crates like on the table when you put your plank on so it sits flush. Now I'm taking these Chris, this crystal knob. Y'all, these are so, so high-end looking and I got them from Amazon they were so cheap. I'll try and find them and link them in my box. So again, taking these half slice beads, gonna paint them white. I asked myself a couple times, like do you really wanna put these on there or do you wanna leave it as is? But for whatever reason, they were calling to me and saying to put them on here. So that's what I did. I listened. Okay. And that is it. So we created this really pretty chic, like dresser drawer that looks so pretty. It would look gorgeous in a bedroom, like in a shelf full of books. And I love it. You guys, I hope you loved and enjoyed these very simply chic DIYs today. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Make sure to check the description box for all of my links and I will see you back here on Tuesday. Here we are back at it. Why did I put pick purple with dark blue? I don't know. I don't think you could see them that much. But I think they just look like crystally. These are really nice. There's no way. That hurt. Uh uh. Huh. Oh. No. Just talking to myself. No, I'm just talking to myself. That's okay. You got, you got stuff to get done today. You better. All right, let's pop on a new color. So it looks like this is like a different day, you know? But it's not. And oh, this smells good. 
Love this lip gloss from LA Colors. Yeah, mama. I got those white strips on order. Woo! Yes. Ugh. Are anybody's teeth perfectly white, huh? Oh, gosh. Oh, I feel the plump. I feel the plump coming. It's not intense. Mm -mm. We're good. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Are your armpits shaved? No. <laughs> okay. Come on. Let's get this done. Well, I guess. Those aren't being sent out for Easter. Maybe they'll just be late. She's trying to clean you, bro. She loves you, see? see? She loves you, Hanky. Hank. Hi. Momo. Hi. And then there's that little turd. Hi.